Your morning news now. Kyle Rittenhouse's trial is nearly over. Closing arguments are expected Monday before the case goes to the jury for a decision. Rittenhouse is facing up to life in prison. He's charged with six criminal counts, including intentional and reckless homicide. Now 18, Rittenhouse says he was acting in self-defense, but prosecutors argue Rittenhouse is responsible for the violence. Each side will have two and a half hours for closing arguments. The prosecution is expected to ask the judge to allow the jury to consider lesser charges for some of the counts. The death toll from the Astro World Festival has now risen to nine. A Texas A&M senior who was critically injured at the festival died yesterday after fighting for her life in a hospital bed for nearly a week. 22-year-old Barty Shahani is the ninth person to die after extreme chaos broke out at rapper Travis Scott's festival in Houston last Friday. Over 50,000 people rushed the stage when Scott appeared, causing a stampede and people getting trampled. At least 58 lawsuits have been filed in connection with this tragic event. The U.S. Department of Justice is suing Uber. The agency says since 2016, Uber has been overcharging disabled people for taking too long to load into vehicles. The department says charging wait time fees for disabled passengers violates the Americans with Disabilities Act. An Uber spokesman said the company disagrees that its policies violate the ADA. The spokesman went on to say Uber refunds wait time fees for disabled riders whenever they ask for a refund. Looking at some rain and snow that continues to come down in parts of our area, including us uh, here in La Crosse County, looking at that rain and snow mix here this morning. Temperatures into the 30s. Classes resume today at La Crosse Central High School. The building was closed yesterday while the district and police investigated an email threat sent by a student. The school released a statement on its web page. It reads in part, quote, immediate action was taken by school administration and the La Crosse Police Department as soon as we were notified about the email. While the police investigation is ongoing, the threat to student safety has been resolved and it is safe to send students back to school, unquote. La Crosse's downtown is growing and local business owners want to show it off. Starting today, several businesses will offer special deals and extended hours as part of the holiday open house. There will also be a tree lighting ceremony at 6 p.m. at Grounded Patio Cafe. Happening tomorrow, you have a chance to get your COVID vaccine at the American Legion Post 52 in La Crosse. The clinic will be open from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. All shots are free and no insurance information is required. They will be offering Pfizer shots for those 12 and up, Moderna shots for 18 and up, and the one dose Johnson & Johnson vaccine for those 18 and up. The 67th annual dog show returns to the Minnesota Equestrian Center in Winona. This weekend, there will be over 700 dogs in the show, and there will also be a juniors competition for children 9 to 18 and a peewee show for kids 5 to 9 to show off their dogs. The event is hosted by the lacrosse-based Cooley Kennel Club, which is a local nonprofit. The show kicks off at 8 a.m. tomorrow and Sunday. The event is free to enter, but there is a $5 parking fee. This morning, we are going to be looking at a few slick spots out there with some some of that rain and snow continuing into the early afternoon. This week, another chance of snow, especially here for Saturday night. Quick shout out to our producer, Lucas. It is his last Lucas. day with us today after several years behind the scenes. And we just want to say a special thank you to him for all he's done for our show and wish him the best of luck in his next chapter. And thank you for joining us. We hope you have a super great weekend. We're going to send you now to CBS Mornings.